Installing the heat cable, one of the factors we need to consider is how we're going to turn the heat cable on. You have to have electrical power out here to get juice to the cable. So we're going to look around and see what's available, and then we'll take our options and go from there. One of the first things that we see is we have a power source right here on the wall. It's pretty old. Not exactly in the best location, but it's available. We'll note that as one option. We have another option over here behind this sign. So we have a power source by the water spigot. Not exactly in our best location as well, but uh, option number two. We don't have any other power inside the entryway. We don't have any power up in our soffit. We do have a soffit light, but that soffit light, I would highly recommend avoiding it because often the wiring controlling or powering a light is not going to be large enough to accommodate the power consumption of heat cable. So stay away from sconce lights, any light fixtures, uh, don't use those adapters for that. So on this situation, we're gonna actually install a dedicated circuit from inside the garage and put a power source up in our soffit by our downspout. So our downspout is our location that we can best hide the power cord for the heat cable. And you can see our downspout's in here. Our soffit is up in here. We wanna place the power right here behind the downspout. That way, visually from outside the home, it's aesthetically pleasing to the eye and you don't have weird cords hanging off in random places.